Coming up on Mountain News this morning, the city of London was put on hold yesterday after a reported bomb threat. And Mickey Steins is beginning to speak out about the impromptu shooting that killed Judge Kevin Mullins. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Thanks for joining us this morning. I'm Madison Carmouche. We're at 5.30 this Tuesday morning. Today is October 15th. Let's check in with meteorologist Megan Desmall for a look at your forecast this morning. Megan, it is cold out there. I can't even say chilly anymore. Yeah, it's definitely cold out there. Some of y'all are seeing that 30 degree mark this morning. So definitely make sure you're grabbing your winter coat on the way out. Some of you might need it, especially if you're in Jonesville, 36 degrees for you right outside of the door. The rest of the area is warmer than that, thankfully, but we're still seeing the 30s and 40s for our current temperature. And in fact, we also have frost freeze hazard for the area. And if you're in Lawrence County, Kentucky, you're under a freeze warning. Everywhere else, though, seeing that advisory with the exception of our Tennessee counties and Lee and Wise, Virginia. We will be warming up, though, ever so slightly into the mid 50s for today's high. So luckily looking up just a little bit, but the next couple hours will be cloudy and we do have some chance for rain today as well. I'll have the ARH seven day forecast as well as the timing of this rain in just a couple of minutes. Madison. All right, Megan, thank you. Yesterday morning, Laurel County law enforcement agencies responded to a bomb threat at the Laurel County Courthouse and Annex. The London Police Department, KSP, Laurel County Sheriff's Office and London Fire Department quickly evacuated the area and conducted a search. After calling in a bomb dog, no explosive devices were found. Gilbert Achardo with the Laurel County Sheriff's Department says it is a it is sad when situations like this occur. As if it's real. I think it's sad though that someone would call that in because all these resources, all these first responders are tied up on this situation when other situations are going on. So it's really a, a terrible thing. The investigation is ongoing and no arrests have been made. Police say there is no danger to the public. Deputies in Laurel County are investigating a shooting in which one round reportedly hit a vehicle and happened in a business parking lot off US 25 just north of London. Deputies say one man fired two rounds at another and one round hit a passing vehicle on US 25. The two men were reportedly cousins. No one was injured. You know, it could have been a, a very tragic situation. Fortunately, nobody was injured, but now we're trying to track down these people uh, both of them fled, the, the victim and the suspect, and so we're trying to track those individuals down. We don't think there's a threat to the community, but we need to track those individuals down. Achardo said that there were witnesses that will hopefully help lead to an arrest. If you have any information, contact the Laurel County Sheriff's Office. A Saturday afternoon motorcycle ride took a tragic turn. A collision left a Southern Kentucky man dead and another man in jail on DUI and murder charges. Chester Dick died after police say a car rear ended the motorcycle he and his fiance were riding. Larry Stoll answered to the charges in court. A Pulaski County woman pleaded with a judge to not lower his bond. WYMT's Phil Pendleton has more on what happened with the crash and the suspect's stay in court. He is a, danger. a daughter desperate for justice for her father. So I'm begging you, please do not let this man out. Do not lower his bond. He does not deserve it. Mary Butnick came to court to see the man accused of causing her father's death. Larry Stoll is charged with murder and DUI. Chester Dick and his fiance were on a motorcycle that police say was struck by Stoll's Nissan. Dick died at the scene and his fiance was seriously hurt. I thought my daughter was a piece of her car for laying in the road when I pulled up. And I said, I have to help these people. According to the Kentucky State Police arrest citation, Stoll told officers that he had alcohol and had also taken prescription drugs before getting behind the wheel. He was not supposed to be driving at all. According to police, he was driving on a DUI suspended license. Stoll's attorney entered a not guilty plea for him, and the judge did not lower his bond. And this guy in here just, no, not enough. 
He should be behind bars the rest of his life, never see daylight again. Relatives say that Dick's fiance, Lori Lyle, has multiple injuries, including broken bones and head injuries. In Pulaski County, Phil Pendleton, WYMT Mountain News. Larry Stell will be back in court next week for a preliminary hearing. A man is facing charges after he was found under the influence while watching two children. Police were dispatched to the city park in Pikeville last week, receiving a call about a man possibly intoxicated with two children. Police came upon Jerry Tackett, where they immediately discovered he was under the influence. Police later found a water bottle that was half full of alcohol. Tackett was taken to the Pike County Detention Center. In Pike County, a man is facing charges after he reportedly led police on a chase and struck a patrol vehicle. The incident happened last Thursday. Police noticed someone who had active warrants in Kentucky and Virginia. After failing to stop, Anthony Hurley led police on a chase before it ended in the Lake Branch area of the county. Following a collision, Hurley tried to hide from police but was later found. He was taken to the Pike County Detention Center. A Knox County man is facing charges after police found meth and a handgun on him. 52-year-old Cleve Smith was arrested by the London Police Department's Special Investigation Drug Interdiction Unit recently. He was charged with trafficking in a controlled substance and possession of a handgun by a convicted felon. Mickey Steins, the former Letcher County Sheriff accused of killing District Judge Kevin Mullins, says the shooting was unplanned and happened in the heat of passion. People Magazine reports his defense will seek a manslaughter, manslaughter charge because of, quote, extreme emotional disturbance. The shooting happened in Mullins' chamber in September. Steins has pleaded not guilty and retired as sheriff. The case is being heard by a grand jury. Yesterday, the Kentucky Humane Society welcomed in two dozen animals who were impacted by Hurricane Milton. The 10 dogs and 14 cats were ready to be adopted before a turn tornado from Hurricane Milton left their shelter unsafe for living. Once they are medically assessed and cared for, the animals will be made available for adoption. Until then, KHS is asking for donations, fosters, volunteers, and adopters to help with the efforts. You can visit their website to learn more. The annual SOAR Summit is coming up this week. The event begins tomorrow and runs through Friday in Pikeville. The high-profile event has an array of topics discussed from entrepreneurship and innovation to workforce development. Gail Manchin, the federal CEO, the federal co-chair of Appalachian Regional Commission and wife of West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin is expected to deliver the keynote address at the closing session on Friday. The CSX Corporation is set to perform railroad maintenance operations in Clay County today. The work will be at mile point 5.58 on Kentucky 11. That area will be closed from 7 this morning until 7 in the evening. Those who are traveling through that area need to prepare for delays. When we return, more potential victims of Sean Combs are coming out and adding on a stacked lawsuit. And frost freeze, the words we don't want to hear, I'll have when in just a couple of minutes.